When it comes to organizing your personal life and your work life inside ClickUp, the questions, well, they're plentiful, right? I hear questions like, should my ClickUp account have multiple workspaces? Do I need a space for each job I have? How do I manage being a serial entrepreneur inside of ClickUp? And so on. It all comes down to the same primary question of how do we organize my personal life and my work life inside ClickUp. Now, there are a few steps forward on this, but this video, I'm going to walk through the three steps I would recommend for anybody who has a work life and a life life, I guess, that is very intertwined. Okay, so if you are a business owner, a serial entrepreneur, maybe you have multiple jobs, or you just have a lot of stuff going on and all of it's interconnected, those are the people I'm talking to in this video. And for those of you who have very separate work and personal lives, I'll mention the kind of deviations or adjustments you would need to make if you do want to follow these instructions as well. So with that, let's dive in. Here we are inside ClickUp and we are ready to tackle our first step of this journey, which is figuring out what workspace, that means this guy here in the corner, are we going to be using to organize our personal life? For the majority of you who are watching this video who have an intertwined personal and work life, what I want you to do is keep the same one. <laughs> wherever you are organizing your day-to-day -day work, your maybe your company, wherever it is, use that same workspace. No extra step is required for you here. For those of you who want a strict separation between work and personal, I would recommend clicking down here and clicking plus to add a brand new workspace with all the default options and joining us here in the second step once you get through that. Now, the reason I recommend most of you stick to one workspace is because it's simpler. Billing happens at the workspace level. So if you are on a paid plan for your job, well, you might as well take advantage of that to also organize your personal life with the paid features. If you were to create a brand new workspace like our friends who prefer the separation, you would have to then pay again because you would be considered a free plan user. Each workspace has its own billing tier, okay? So if you create something in your existing workspace, it'll be at one tier. And if you start a brand new account, it'll be at the free tier again. The other reason I like to keep everything in one workspace is because when you go to home, you'll see all of your tasks in that one home everything from your personal life to your jobs all in one organized list. And there's pros and cons to that, but it is really nice when it comes to getting a sense of what do you actually have to do. Seeing those things side by side, I find quite helpful and is something you can only do if your tasks are in the same workspace. If we have things, some in this one and some in this one and some in this one, well, there's no way to summarize all three of these. But if we keep them all in one workspace, we can see all of our information in home and at everything. Oh, and I guess one more bonus to keeping everything in the same workspace is you save money. <laughs> so you get to have the benefits of playing for the plan one time and using it for many things. So for anyone who's budget conscious, 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 you know what I mean. For anyone who cares about budget, um, this is a real bonus for you as well. And if you want to find more ways to save money with ClickUp, check out this video here. because. I think you'll find it helpful. Okay, so now once we have our workspace, I want us to create our spaces. Now in this workspace, I already have what I consider my default work account, right? Maybe these are the ones that my job created or my business has for organizing work. I need to now create a space for my own personal organization. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click new space and I'm gonna create a separate space for personal life. I'm gonna call it personal life click next, give it an avatar and a color, move on through, make it private so only I can see it, set some statuses, turn off any click apps I do not need. In this case, I don't really need any of these because I'm on a free plan. Turn off any views I do not need and then create my space. Now, all of a sudden, I've created a private section of my existing ClickUp account where I can manage my personal tasks. The last step I would want to do if, you know, you were my shoes is I would want to then hide from my personal sidebar this view. So that way I can collapse and expand the hidden space section and choose to see personal or not see personal if I'm having a hard time focusing during my workday. Now, great, we have a space that gives us a place to start organizing our personal life, but where? <laughs> By default with ClickUp, 
uh, when you create a brand new space, all it has is one blank list in it called list. And that's bit confusing. So I'm going to start you off with a structure that I actually still use to this day and I recommend to most of my clients for when they're getting started with ClickUp. Ready? Okay, grab your keyboard. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is click this plus and then we're going to select new folder. This is going to be our folder called life. Maybe we'll call it life task. Go with whatever you want. Inside that folder, we need to create some lists. Now we could do that right here or after we create it. Once I create this folder, I'm going to delete the default list that's in it and go ahead and start adding new lists to meet the three categories that I want to have. The first one is called one off tasks. Maybe this is something like we got something in the mail that says we need to send a check to the city for something. Maybe we had a fine for something. That's a one off task. Maybe we need to hire a contractor to fix our porch. That's a one-off task. Maybe we need to move. That's a one-off task. Anything like that is going on this list. Now, obviously life is a lot of one-off tasks, but there's also much routine that comes into the day-to-day -day of living, of adulting. And so what we can do is click on this, click new list and create another list for those chores for lack of a better word. So in this one, we can call these routines. Um, I can also call them my adulting list, whatever you want to call it. Routines is our list where we can put any tasks that are routine. Uh, things like changing the water filter, watering the lawn, landscaping, planting for the new season. Uh, you can even have things like, I think in one of ours, we have replacing a helmet. <laughs> it's every 10 years, we need to replace the helmet or a motorcycle or something. That's the kind of stuff that would go on this routines list. Things, especially things that you would not remember to do otherwise, throw them on this routines list. Next up, we're going to add just one more list and we're going to call it ideas. Now you could call this any kind of things that you want. I know in our own personal workspace, we call it the someday list. But we'll just leave it as ideas for now. And ideas is exactly what it sounds like. Even though ClickUp still calls the things on here tasks, in our mind, we're going to remember that everything on this list is actually just a potential task that we're not yet sure we're going to do. This folder is all we need to organize our entire personal life in ClickUp. There we go. Mic drop. <laughs> And if I may be so bold, this type of list is really all you need, you know, at the core to organize your entire business in ClickUp. Spoiler alert. All right, so we've added a bunch of tasks in here to give you some inspiration as to what might go on each of these lists. On the one-off task list, we have two one-off tasks, things like hiring a contractor and paying a parking ticket. Both of these are assigned and dated, so I actually remember to do them. After that, we have a few routines, things like take out the trash, change the water filter, get the car inspected. All of these have recurrences. So when I mark them complete, they'll come right back and remind me again in the future. After that, we have our ideas list where we have things that we might want to do. And because we haven't yet committed to those, we do not have an assignee or a due date. They're just kind of sitting here waiting for us to do them eventually. Now, while I know this is a really simple structure, this can get you so far in your ClickUp journey, whether it's for personal or for business. If you want to learn more about some more sophisticated structures and ways you can start thinking about ClickUp a little bit more big picture, I do want to invite you to watch the training I have in the description of this video. It's called The Blueprint, and it talks a bit more about how we can push beyond this if you actually want to and need to. Now, once we have all of this in here, we need to talk about how we actually exist in this workspace. Well, when we're ready to start our day, we're just going to go into home and inside home, we're going to see all of our work tasks from these spaces and all of our personal tasks all show up inside home. So here you can see inside this workspace, I'm seeing my personal space items as well as my work tasks like this one, all inside my home area. Now, I, like I said, that's a good thing and a bad thing because sometimes you want to separate work and home. Well, the way I would separate that if you want to focus down on one or the other is to use views in other places. So I know in my own personal workspace, I use a view at everything that is filtered to only show tasks in the location that is not, I know this is a lot, uh, my personal workspace. So this whole section. 
I created this view for myself to focus on just my work tasks, and I grouped it by due date just like you see inside Home. I would then take that view, save it, name it, and add it to my favorites, so that way wherever I was, whenever I start my day, if I wanted to focus in on everything that is only in the work area, I can do that. If I wanted to do the opposite and focus just on personal life, I could do the same thing. I could duplicate this view, or I could just click on personal life. <laughs> because it's one space, it's one container, I could use the views that are built into that space and create a view grouped by due date, name it, personal tasks, apply, save, all that good stuff, and then add that to my favorites. So I have my personal tasks and my work tasks saved side by side. So if I wanted to see my work tasks, I could use my favorites and go right to work tasks. Again, this is my filtered everything view. And if I wanted to focus in just on personal tasks, I could go to my personal favorites right here. And if I wanted to see everything all together, which is how life generally works, I would go right to my home. And that's exactly what I would see. Once you have this structure in place, you can stop stressing about the click up part of the equation and just focus on getting things out of our head and writing them down. I'll tell you, it'll take you several weeks to just figure out what are the routines in my personal life? What are the big ideas we have and have not yet done? And at that point, you might realize, hmm, I really want to make a dedicated spot for some of these ideas or separate things that feel like they're just, they deserve their own area. And if that happens, by all means, expand this. But please view this as a foundation to get you started so you can get over that overwhelm of ClickUp and focus in on the hard part, which is actually figuring out what the heck do you have to do. Once you have this foundation, you can add more structures as you feel like you need to without that initial overwhelm of trying to get everything perfect from the get-go. One of my favorite additions to my own personal life area is actually this one up here of a plant database we built out inside my own ClickUp account. So if you're into plants, check that one out. Otherwise, I would invite all of you to check out the link in the description below where we talk about the training that I mentioned earlier of how we help people get their processes out of their head. Because yes, personal life is one thing, but when it comes to work and keeping that all contained in those other spaces of your business, it becomes so important to know what you actually do. So if you want a little bit of help and some exercises about how to define what it is you do, whether for personal or for business really, check out that link in the description below. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Check out these videos next and enjoy the process.